So let's take a look at a fight that's happening this, this weekend for the World WBA Super Bantamweight title. It's Guillermo Rigondeau, current champion, going up against Robert Manaquim. Um, and I haven't really seen uh, many videos on this fight and it hasn't really garnered that much attention uh, from what I've seen. Um, so when I saw it was actually happening this weekend, this weekend um, I was a bit surprised that Rigondeau was fighting. Normally he gets a bit more... Um, his fights are talked about a little bit more, um, you know, because he's highly rated. Um, you know, I, I think yeah, he's a really good talent. He's an upcoming star. Um, obviously, he's not of a young age, but he's only he had a big amateur career and he's only been professional for ten fights now. Um, and when you see uh, Robert Robert Manaquin, um, first of all, the first instinct was always it's probably just another guy who's going to get flattened by uh, Rigondeau, who's been knocking guys out. And even looking at Maraquin's uh, record with just the one loss um, in 20 odd fights, you know, I still thought it, these guys are probably a lesser standard of opposition um, and perhaps it's just not really telling the real tale. But then, you know, looking at, uh, looking at footage of uh, Maraquin and uh, doing a bit of research, actually, um, Maraquin is, I expect, to be quite a tough test for Guillermo Rigondeau. And I think he is a worthy opponent. Um, you know, Maraquin's got power in both fists. Um, he's got about 65% KO ratio. Um, so this guy can punch. And I've seen him doing with the left and the right. Um, he keeps a good uh, guard. And he's the type of guy who's not, he doesn't get carried away. So he doesn't leave himself open, which is something when you're facing Rigondaro, you're not you don't want to do. Um, he doesn't really take unnecessary risks. And I think that um, that, that may serve him well in this fight. And one thing that he does very well is he can counter punch, and he 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 um he does faint, and he he lures his opponent inside, he not inside, he lures his opponent to attack and open up, and then he fin he 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 hurts them. Um, I've seen on a, on a few occasions he he's lured his opponent to attack, and then he's come around with the left the left hook, or he's used the right, and he's very good at doing it. And that's something that concerns me for Rigondeau in this fight, believe it or not. Because Rigondeau is not perfect. Okay, um, Yes, he's a very good fighter. Um, I think that his amateur background and his, you know, being called one of the best amateur fighters ever um, by HBO, etc. Really um, sometimes throws things out of perspective. You know, we have to look at his, his professional career. Um, and yes, he has stopped eight of his ten opponents. Um, and yes, he's looked very good, but he's not without his flaws. For me, sometimes when he attacks, he leaves himself a little bit open. Not all the time, because he's got that amateur sort of um, background and that bit, that basic technique. But sometimes he gets a little bit carried away from me, and especially when he gets on top of an opponent and starts, you know, um, dictating a bit, he does sometimes leave it, leave himself open. And um, Marquin is has the ability and power to exploit this, and it's something that Rigondeau really needs to be careful of in this fight. He must not underestimate Marquin. I'm just warning you now. Um, on the other hand, uh, Rigondo extremely fast reflexes. I think this is what wins in fights, um, coupled with the power that he has. Um, he has really fast reflexes, so he can counter the, just in a split second. So, you know, he's, the opponent throws and thinks they're on the, on the attack, and then he, he can just um, come back and sort of have that, that pull counter. Um, with the the quick stiff jab, or you know, um, you know the follow up power hand, he's uh, very quick with the reflexes. Um, he works the body very well. Um, Maraquin also can body punch, um, but I like the way that uh, Rigondeau comes down the middle, um, right into the the centre section. Um, it's very difficult to defend against. So rather than throwing um, wide punches which are blocked by the arms, he goes between the arms and really punches you down the centre in that body. Something Rigondeau may, will probably look again to do in this fight, try and wear Marroquin down. It might be something he has to do because Marroquin is going to be perhaps quite difficult to catch up top. Um, so to cut a long story short now, um, I have my concerns for both fighters when they're on the attack. I think when they're defending and the other person, the other guy's attacking, maybe they won't be such a problem. Because um, Rigondeau's got good reflexes, he's got that good basis to defend against Maraquin's onslaught. And likewise, I think Maraquin, um, what he does, he stalks you with a bit of a quite high guard. He likes to stalk you, stalk you down and then lure you in. I think that um, 
when he's on the when he's on the attack, uh, when when sorry when he's defending, I think that um, he will have a good enough protection to um, make this competitive, not to let Rigo have it all his own way, not to just let Rigo hurt him. Because we've seen Rigo don't hurt guys just straight out of the bat. I don't think it can happen in this one. I think Manoquin's got that decent defence. However, when Rigo's attacking, sometimes the he may leave himself open and he he has to watch, like I say, for Manoquin coming with the counter. And likewise, when Manoquin attacks, uh, rigondo has got good counters. And I think that's when each guy's going to be open, when they're attacking. Um, so, let's get down to it. I think Manoquin's going to make this competitive for the first half of the fight. I think he may be quite cautious. He, he'll know what's come before him and he'll be trying to stick with Rigondo and take it later on because, you know, Rigondo... Um, has only gone 12 rounds once, I think. Um, you know, he normally stops earlier than that. So he'll be trying to go to later in the fight, maybe, you know, try and pick up his rhythm, try and just uh, perhaps survive the first half of the fight. Not stay too far behind on the scorecards, but not get carried away and get himself hurt. Um, then I think things may start to open up. I think that um, Rigondeau will start to um, perhaps take control of the fight completely. Um, and I think that maybe Malakun will be forced to come out of that shell. Um, he'll be forced to um, pick, the, pick the pace up, perhaps. Maybe he won't be in a shell, but he'll have to pick the pace up a bit because maybe he's falling behind the scorecards. And I think around round eight, Rigondo will hurt him and, and get to stop his victory. Um, I was thinking about this going the distance because I think Malakun is a good test for Rigondo and I think he's no walkover and he could... Um, you know, take this the distance. I I'm not I'm not aware of any time that Malakun's actually been hurt or put down. By the way, I don't think he ever has, um, but I don't think he's ever been put down. So, but but against Rigondeaux, who's proven he has the power, but more importantly the quick reflexes to to throw those counters. I think he has to be careful, Rigondeaux. But I think he should be able to take this fight over in the second half. I think at round eight, he will um, stop Robert Malakun, but. Like always, you have to look at both sides, okay? You can't just look at the one guy who has all the hype around him and just think he's going to walk this guy over, because I don't think he will. I think Malakuin will actually... We might be surprised at how competitive Robert Malakuin is in this fight. Um, I think he's a good customer, and I think he's a guy who could cause Rigo some problems. Um, and if Rigondeau's not careful, um, he has the potential definitely to hurt Rigondeau. So... I'm really looking forward to this fight actually, um, I think it's going to be um, an interesting one to watch and see how it, how it plays out. Um, will Rigondeau prove me wrong and just steamroll Manoquin? Or will, like I'm saying, Manoquin prove to be uh, a bit more competitive than at first expected? So let me know what you guys think, what do you think of Manoquin as an opponent of Rigondeau? Um, and what do you think of this fight? Thanks for watching.